How are we folks? Hope we're all keeping well and you're very welcome to today's lesson on the coast. Okay, so today guys we're going to look in detail at the formation of a sea cliff and then we're going to look at um, just being able to identify some other features of coastal erosion. Okay, so you must know one feature of coastal erosion in detail, that's our cliff. And then a feature of coastal deposition in detail and that'll be our beach that we'll look at tomorrow okay but we must also be able to identify some of these when it comes to short questions on our junior short exam okay um, but it's mainly it's usually just identifying these on a diagram labeling them uh, things like that okay so we're going to start off guys looking at our cliff and to uh, be able to answer a question like this we must think about our special formula we have deep d so define explain Ex example processes and a diagram okay so first of all to define what a cliff is a cliff is a steep or vertical rock face on the coast really really simple guys okay so that's a cliff okay you can you can almost say that yourself without having to be even told okay so uh, a vertical steep rock face on the coast is your cliff okay cliffs form when the destructive waves erode the coast so remember guys a destructive wave a destructive wave has a weak swash but a strong backwash Okay, so cliffs form when destructive waves erode the coast. So at high tide, okay, so when the tide is in, hydraulic action, compression, and abrasion erode a wave cut notch in the coast. So guys, if we look down here to our diagram, this is our wave cut notch. Okay, so as the waves are attacking the coast, hitting off the hitting off the cliff, okay, they're eroding this little bit at the bottom. Okay, so if you look here, guys, these waves will eventually erode in here and form a wave cut notch on this cliff. Okay, um, sediment from the notch is transported and deposited below low tide. So any bits of rock and sediment that get broken off the bottom of the cliff get deposited around here. Okay, at low tide. Okay. Now, guys, it's really important for the processes. So the processes involved in forming a sea cliff, hydraulic action, compression, and abrasion. You must define what each of those are. Okay, so don't just don't just list them off. Also, give a definition, i.e., hydraulic action, the force of water uh, pounding against the against the cliff face. Okay, define all all three of those for maximum marks. Okay, so moving on. Um. Over time, continued erosion causes the notch to enlarge and a wave cut platform is formed. So guys, this notch here will eventually get deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay, and then something forms called a wave cut platform. So uh, this is your wave cut platform here, guys. So this bit here, uh, the bit of rock that used to have the, the, the cliff on it starts to, to, to come, become visible. That's your wave cut platform. So it's a platform that the cliff used to be on, but the cliff is, was, was eroded backwards, leaving behind the platform okay um just one second so here you guys here's an example of a wave cut platform here okay this is where the cliff used to be it's been eroded in the notch is eroding in and there's a wave cut platform that you can literally stand on okay so again guys as we know this notch is being undercut deeper and deeper and deeper what's going to happen do we think to this bit of rock above it well this really really heavy bit of rock will eventually collapse and a cliff is formed okay so guys if we look here cliffs will slowly retreat slowly retreat inland so this if you look at this diagram this is the previous position of the cliff face okay but as erosion continued this takes tens of thousands hundreds of thousands if not millions of years okay so water erodes look we can see where the old notch was eventually this top of this cliff collapsed in okay uh, erosion continued forming a new notch deeper down here again the top of the cliff collapsed uh, causing the, the whole cliff to retreat in okay and this continues and continues so the, technically land is getting smaller technically as the sea erodes it okay um so this deposited sediment forms what's called a wave built terrace so guys the sediment so any of the the, the this bit here when the top of the cliff eventually collapses and breaks off the sediment that did form that cliff will just simply drop here form what's called a wave built terrace so basically a little pile of rubble okay and then, guys, what's this thing here called? So this thing here that used to have the previous cliff is called a wave cut platform. Okay, so if we go over here, guys, we can see our wave cut platform is like the kind of floor of the previous cliff. Now, the sediment that broke off that previous cliff is here in a wave built terrace. So that, 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 that's where some of your, only some of your sand and stuff gets formed. Okay, um, the deposited sediments form a wave built terrace. Okay, again, we'll go back here, guys. Here's our, a really good exact picture of a wave built terrace here. Okay, 
Um, eventually, waves lose their energy, crossing the wave cut platform, and erosion is reduced. So sometimes, guys, when the waves cross this wave cut platform here, okay, they absorb the energy of the waves, and it kind of protects the, the rest of the cliff from erosion. So eventually, erosion does slow down and, and sometimes stop. Okay, uh, for an exa your example of your cliffs is the cliffs of Mohawk County Clare. Okay, so to recap on that, guys, very, very straightforward. We have to define what a cliff is. Um, we have to uh, give explain how it's formed. So we'd explain how it's formed a high tide, hydraulic action, uh, erode uh, a wave cut notch. Okay, eventually this wave cut notch gets eroded. And what happens is it leaves behind a wave cut platform. As the notch erodes further, the weight of the, cli of the cliff on top eventually collapses. This sediment forms a wave built terrace and exposed blows a wave built platform. Okay, uh, a process is involved, hydraulic action, abrasion, and um, compression. Again, guys, define what those are. Um, good stuff. And then, you guys, you draw a diagram. Okay, so, guys, this is the diagram we're going to draw here. Okay, this one here on the left of this slide. And then give your, sorry, give your examples as well. Example, the Cliffs of Moher in County Clare. Okay, so, again, guys, we now know one feature of sea erosion in detail, our cliff. But... We also must be able to just just identify some other features of sea erosion. Okay, really, really uh, simple here, guys. Okay, so uh, for the first one is a notch. A notch, guys, is literally this fella here. Okay, this fella here is your notch. A notch is like a small little indentation or hole. Okay. Um, now, what happens when a notch continues to get eroded? When a notch continues to get eroded, it forms a sea cave. Okay, so a sea cave is like a passage you can walk into. Okay, um, what, what's next? Well, if a sea cave continues to erode, so look at the diagram here, guys. If this sea cave continues to erode, it'll come out the far side here and it'll form a sea arch. So literally an archway you can walk under. Here's a real example of a sea arch here. And here's an example on our diagram. Okay, now a sea arch is formed. Uh, sorry, what, what happens when, a, a, again, guys, think of this rock. This rock is unbelievably heavy. Um, what might happen is this rock might eventually give way. Okay, so a sea, when a, a sea arch gives way, this fella called a sea stack is formed. So, guys, we can see here, this used to be a sea arch. It used to be land connecting those two together. The land has collapsed and a sea stack is formed. Okay, so um, a sea stack is like an isolated uh, area from the headland. Okay, um, now again, guys, th 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 what happens to the sea stack? Again, erosion. So the power of the coast. Okay, so erosion. Hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition will continue to erode this sea stack, eventually make it smaller and smaller, forming a little sea stump. Okay, so if we look here, guys, here's a real example of sea arch. Again, this is going to eventually collapse, leaving a sea stack. This fella here, this sea stack is going to be eroded, forming a stump. Okay, and guys, you must be able to identify those on a diagram. So, for example, you, you know, you could be given a diagram and your exam and asked to label it. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. Okay, you're not your small little indentation in, in the sea cliff. Eventually, this continues to form a passage called a sea cave. What happens to the sea cave? Eventually, the sea cave might erode the full way through and come out the other side of the cliff, forming a sea arch. Now, what happens at the top of the sea arch collapses? Um, you get a sea stack. Okay, again, that sea stack will be a victim of erosion from the sea and eventually wear down to form a little sea stump. Okay. Folks, thanks very much for watching. Uh, your task now is to answer this question uh, on the sea cliff using deep D. So define what it is, explain how it's formed, give your examples, uh, uh, your processes and your diagram. Okay. I'd want you to take down this diagram here as your diagram. Okay. Uh, and then after this, guys, what I want you to do is just take down and label this diagram here. You don't have to do any of this writing. Just take down and label this diagram here. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks.